at the high point of the day. Well, Nimesh joins us to help us out with what he's picking up in D Street Chatter. Nimesh, take it away. And actually, no, another quiet day, so to speak. Nifty is very much range bound. Even the flows are quite muted as well. No clear direction on which way the market wants to go uh, from here on. Uh, the broader market uh, has relatively outperformed, but again, if you look at the advanced decline, it's pretty much one is to one. So there are equal amount of declines as well. Uh, you pointed out some uh, big movers like the likes of Godrej and uh, uh, and Geo Financial, but there are equal number of sales as well uh, in the broader market stocks today. The only sector which has done relatively better in terms of flows is the technology name. So select buying is what I understand from larger refiners in the text in the tech stocks, but otherwise it's been a quite muted in terms of flows as well. Okay, all right. Let's get to the interesting part, uh, Nimesh. What about individual stocks? What are you picking up? Well, the first stock on my list today is AU Small Finance Bank, another large block. Nearly 1.1 crore shares got changed hands today. I understand it's a clean out trade from a private equity investor, so that sold out. In terms of buyers, some domestic uh, mutual funds were buyers and anchor investors in today's block. So the disclosure is pretty quite interesting in AU, AU Small Finance Bank. The second stock is uh, Axis Kids. A big uh, downtick in that stock today, down 11 percent last I checked. The volumes are on the higher side as well. Uh, looks like uh, the city is anticipating a large block deal very soon in Axis Kids. The sense I'm getting is maybe the promoted entity is likely to sell 5 to 7 percent stake uh, via block deal. So that's something to track in Axis Kids. The third stock is Interglobe Aviation. Post the you know, block where the promoters, the Ganwal sold a, a, a good 5 and a half percent stake. The stock has been in a pretty much in a narrow range. Uh, but today, uh, you know, there's going to be a, a buy flow of close to 40 million dollars because of the FTSE uh, adjustment. Uh, post the uh, Ganwal stake sale, there has been an uptick in the, in the weight of uh, Indigo for both in uh, both in FTSE, which got implemented today, and of course it will happen in MSCI as well. And the last is IDFC First Bank. Now, uh, again, you know, the, the, this is this is something which is which has been surprising the street a bit. Uh, for the last couple of days, there is a very strong indication that it could be a very large block. So there is a lot of depth in the in the stock uh, at lower levels, but uh, no, no, not that many funds know that as to who could be the potential seller. So. Uh, a bit of surprise, so to speak, but there is an anticipation of a large block in IDFC First Bank as well. Okay, all right. Uh, Nimesh, thanks a lot for that. We'll keep an eye out on all of those uh, stocks. Well, by the way, in the... Thank you for watching CNBC TV 18 and do follow us on all our social media platforms for news, updates and more.